for the serious gamer. Hey guys, Killer Guy 23 from Action Tactics, and I'm here with my fifth online match in UFC Undisputed 2010. And I am once again doing some heavyweight fights, and this guy goes straight for the kick, trying to catch me off guard, and no, I'm not falling for that crap. He has me Oma Plata, he actually almost gets me, and uh, this guy must spin the crap out of his freaking joystick, but I get out of it. And uh, he's trying to get out of it, but I'm uh, needing his, uh, needing his nice little kidneys. And, um, I got full stamina right now, but I do not go for the submission just because that first Oma Plata, uh, he almost submitted me, so I know he spins the crap out of his joystick. And now he's just trying to get out right now, and I just keep on getting body shot, body shot. And I got nice stand up, and I get him straight back down. And, um, and how you do that, uh, a lot of people like going for the slam, like I just did right there and got reversed. So I was just about to say, like, um, go for a major, what you gotta do is go for major transition, and, um, it just takes them down, like, and it's a lot harder for them to uh, reverse because when you go for a slam, it's so much easier to detect when they're going to do it. And, um, yeah, so just go for that major transition instead. Uh, I got him up against the cage, and I got him down, and I'm in an uh, open half guard right now. And I'm just doing some damage, and he keeps on going for the Kamora, even though he's got very low stamina. And I'm just doing some uh, damage, and I just got reverse. I mean, I reversed him to get the full mount. And, um, yeah, just doing some damage on his face and uh, his stomach. And, uh, like I always say, buy damage for the win, guys. Body damage for the win. And let's see what I do. Yep, I do that mid transition. Just takes him straight down. Don't need to do any damage doing the slam. Just a waste. And I uh, keep on trying to do that. And the bet, and the most that they could do to reverse that is uh, they get out of that. So instead of you getting mounted, you just they just get out of that. Like right there, that was the reversal to that major transition. So there's really nothing to worry about when you're doing that major transition. Transition, and uh, he takes me down uh, good. And just by the way, he um, got to half cut automatically with that takedown. I already know he uh, rotates the crap out of his joystick, and I do not know why I let him up right there. Must have accidentally clicked it. And, um, yeah, so I'm just doing some damage, doing some damage. Um, just punch him in the face, and he goes for that, uh, L1 transition, but I reverse, and then I reverse again to get into mount. And so I'm on back mount right now. And pretty sure I go for that major transition again, but he reverses it, no big deal. Don't really, doesn't really matter. So this goes on to the second round. And just by that body punch, I know, uh, very soon his body, um, it's in very bad state right now, probably like 80 plus damage right now, and if I punch him probably once or twice in the stomach, uh, he's gonna get rocked from body shots. That's so right, I'd run in, go for body shots, because I saw that from before, and he tried to take me down because he's a little desperate, and I went straight on top of him. So it's looking very good for me right now. And I uh, just kick knee in the back, and I do a nice rollover, but... I actually ended up working there instead of me getting reversed. Uh, he tries using the cage to uh, transition, but I do a nice major transition again to regular mount. And his stamina right now does not look too good at all. And um, let's keep on hitting the body. And um, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Pretty sure uh, he ends up getting up. And then um, I slam him, and you guys will see this. So uh, one, two, three, slam! And then I just smash his face in. Yeah! TKO for the win. Okay, guys, Killer Guy 23 from Extra Tactics, and I'm out.